Hey there, baseball fans. It's Ben, and I am back with a new and special edition of our opening of baseball packs. Today, we've got a cello wax box of 1988 Donruss, which means, I don't know, 800 and some cards will be in this box of cello packs, which I think could mean that we get to create a full set of 1988 Donruss. So if that's true, I guess we're going to do it. That's 660 cards in the set. So we're going to see if we can do it and do it live right here, right now. So I'm going to be opening these packs, laying them out in order to see if we can make a full set. This might take a while. So grab your popcorn and join us here. And I actually, even though we've got... All the cards like normal. I'm gonna have to probably look at them on the backs to get the numbers right. So I guess here we go. This might end up being too boring. If it is, then I'll stop and we'll do something else. But um, card number 100. Right, I'm just gonna kind of put these kind of randomly in here and we'll figure out where they go as we move along. And if I stop talking, it's just because I ran out of things to say. I'm going to try and do this by tens. So that would mean 70, 80, 90, 100. So we'll see how that works. That's my theory, at least. And so 200 would be somewhere way over here. 80, 70, 60, 50, 40, maybe. I don't know, just guessing right now, it'll probably start to take shape at some point. 50, 60, 70, 80, 600. Until I get all these kind of filled in, I think it's going to take a while. Yeah, I think this is going to be off by a good bit. So we'll slide these over, see what happens. There are two right next to each other. That's good. 641. There's a stand usual card, which is 641. Six. 10, 20, 30, 40. So over here, getting towards the end of that one. Uh, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. So that means this one's got to be over here. I don't even think you guys can see the whole frame here, which is just what it has to be because I don't think I have a, the height on the camera here. So might be the world's most boring video, but I'll just do it at, because I'm going to do it anyway. So we might as well do it with some of them on camera. It's funny. I'm getting a lot of them like sequential, 340 and 341, but they're like spread out to get to that point. Look, so there's definitely some kind of like cards are not inserted randomly here because I'm seeing a lot of these sequential now and probably be able to pull out some of these insights like 603 and 604. 121, 122, 253, 254. So yeah, there's clearly some kind of pattern going on. 520, 521. And then we get three or two of the same usual puzzle pieces, which I don't know if we care about. I'm sure we'll get a whole puzzle. So that's something. 420. Yeah, we're definitely seeing some sequential things pop up here. There's our first Diamond King with Dwight Evans, number 16. Gonna take a little while to get these all in the right 
places, I think. We're getting our initial kind of like piles together. All right, there's one pack. Each of these packs contains um, 36 cards and six puzzle pieces, which means two of those uh, puzzle cards, essentially. There we go, another whole set of these. You know, Diamond King, Devin White. So it's likely, I guess, we'll get an, uh, one Diamond King per pack. That's what it might look like. So we're going to have to move all these over substantially. Uh, and at the end, I will have... So zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and a hundred. At the end of this, I'll have a full set of 1988 Donruss, which probably I'll just break up right away anyway, but the exercise was fun. Well, at least I hope it's fun. Then we'll find out. Oh, wait, here's my first MVP, which is part of the I didn't really account for the bonus card series. Um, so some of these 800 and some cards might be bonus cards. And I'll put those in a separate pile at the end. That was Don Mattingly, bonus card MVP. It's kind of hard to do this with the camera where it is, but that's what it is. Uh, two, five, eight. Yep, seeing some more sequential cards showing up here. So there's definitely not complete randomness when it comes to uh, how they package these cards. 106, 107, you can see. Ron Darling, another Diamond King. To Sam Usual puzzle pieces today. 30s, 410. There's going to be down there somewhere. Oh, there's another BC bonus card with Pedro Guerrero, MVP. There's Jack Morse with his big old mustache. Needless to say, this is bound to be my longest video ever and may remain that way for some time. All right, on to pack number three. On the front there, a nice old checklist. Everyone's favorite. Uh, 
I thought to do this because these cello packs are, they hold more cards than the traditional pack or box. So I, you actually could put together a set. So I was just curious as to whether a full set lived in the box or not. And we are going to find out the only way I know how. By just building it. Oh, and there's Nolan Ryan. That's what I like to see. I'll definitely pull that out of the set when I break up the set afterwards. So I realized that me breaking up the set afterwards is makes the whole exercise kind of futile, but it will answer the question for me of, does this box contain a full set? Which I guess is all that matters right now. 15, right? So it doesn't exist. There's Roberto Alomar. There's that famous rated rookie card. Looks more like a mugshot, to be honest with you. <laughs> with no major league record. I might have to go through and reorganize this a little bit after this pack. Now that I've got some more holes filled in. Oh, there's another BC, BC12, Mike Scott, MVP. Diamond King, Danny Tartable. And when there's Ryan Sandberg, one of my faves. So I'll definitely be pulling that out of this for sure once I break up this set afterwards. My two stand usual cards there. 13, 304. So if you can't tell here, my MO is to create a pile of, by tens. So let's check the 600, so 600 just down here. So they'll have a pile of the first 10 cards, the teens, 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, etc., etc., until we have a pile that should be 10 cards each all the way up from the 1 to 660, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120s, 130s will be here, 140s here, 150s, 160s on the end, 170s, 80s, 90s, 210, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So I'm missing 70s. I don't have room for the 70s here. 80, 90, 2nd sixties, seventies, eighties, nineties. Three hundred. 
300s. Three tens, three twenties, thirties. Forties, fifties, sixties, seventies, eighties, nineties would be here. Yep, definitely ran out of space. I'll have to rejigger all these. Four hundreds, four tens, nineties, tens, eighties, eighties. 20s, 40s, oh, no, I've already seen a double, that's not going to help us, doubles are not helping us, it's really a race against doubles this whole process, the more doubles we get the less likely we are to actually see a full set. box right here, 500 on the end, everything's still going okay, all right, still rolling, just checking, be a shame to get through this whole thing, and then have the video not have been going. <laughs> Twenty, five twenty, five thirty, five forty, 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 fifty, 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 sixty, seventy, eighty. Run out of space here. I'll see if I can throw this up here. Maybe I want to keep that in the frame for you guys if I can. 90, 600, 600, 600. Six, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, and bonus. Perfect, so we have just enough. 620, 30, 30, 40, 40, 50, 50, and then bonus cards so we have just enough space on this table to do it i know that you guys can't see all of it oops sorry i hope this is in focus too i'm not even positive let me see if i can raise this up just a little bit maybe just maybe you can see more of it yeah so not all of it but more of it there you go all right back to open them up well, it looks like we have a john farrell on the front and the back unbelievable 616 Why did I choose to do this so late at night in a live video? Well, because I knew that this would be the only time my house would actually be quiet enough to, for a long period of time to do it. So that's why. But I feel better about our process now that we've got all these holes filled in and everything's actually in the right piles. 
So I'm going to take this box and get it out of here. I'm going to throw some packs up here to remind everybody what we're doing. Hopefully, yeah, you can see those. That's good. It doesn't get really exciting until you, exciting until you get to where you've got piles big enough where you could have all 10 cards in that pile. Once you have that, then you can start looking for individual players or individual numbers, and it gets really exciting. Well, as exciting as this whole thing is going to get in the first place. There's a Cal Ripken Jr., Diamond King, number 26. So one of the last Diamond Kings in the set. 48, there we go, starting a new pile there, 615, 137, 3, 5, It's a whole different experience opening packs and only looking at the backs instead of the fronts as you do it. Kind of interesting. Nice change of pace, I think. 439, nope, starting a new pile there. Well, that was Daryl Strawberry. Starting another pile there. Two more puzzles. Maybe at the end I can put the puzzle together. That might be kind of fun too. Oh, there we go. Five, two. I think a milestone that we'll hit will be once we have all of the piles started. That'll be a good sign that we're getting somewhere. Oh, there's another pile started. Oh, we're going to lose our spot here because we've got the 80s to start. Jim Deshays. Oh, another pile started there. 355. I'm seeing some doubles in here. Makes me nervous. Makes me nervous. All right, on to the next pack. This one we got Brian Fisher on the front and the Diamond King of Tommy John on the back. Tommy John, the pitcher, of course, who uh, they named the surgery after, the shoulder surgery. So Diamond King number 17. Start a new pile down there. I like that. That's good. Another new pile started. I'll have to move these cards over a little bit. Oh, there's number one card in the set. Mark McGuire, Diamond King. Number one, numero uno. It's good to get that out of the way. I haven't seen number 660 yet, which would be the last card in the set, minus the bonus cards. So we'll keep an eye out for that. I'm not sure who that is. Another double. Oh, there's another bonus card. Will Clark MVP. Don't like these doubles. Does not give me confidence. Because I think the biggest letdown would be to get to the end here and be just shy of the set. But I guess it would still give us our answer, which is no, you aren't necessarily going to make a set by one of these big cello box, cello pack boxes. So that would be a resolution in and of itself. But I really hope we have a set.
Wouldn't that just be a nicer ending? Six thirty three. Three fourteen. Glenn Hubbard. I guess it would probably answer our question a lot quicker if it was one of those giant sets that came after 1988, where it's like, you know, 900 cards. Uh, it's one of those top stadium club sets or something like that, because you definitely would not be able to do that. So this maybe this is one of those last years of, of cards where you actually could do a full set. And even the, the top sets um, during these years were still, you know, 700 some cards, so 660. Seems like it's doable, you know? We still don't have anything in the 90s, I mean, the number 90 here, so that's an empty spot. So hopefully we get something like that soon. There's a new pile, start for the 490s. So that's good. Oh, Sean Dunstan, there's my favorite. I have about a couple dozen of this uh, exact card, but I'll still pull it out from my collection when it comes time. So actually, if I was missing that one, I'd be better off because I could just pull one of those from my collection and say, yep, made the set. All right, so there's that. Still have one, two, three. Three more piles to start that have not been started yet. So hopefully we can get those. And that will give me some confidence that we're making headway here. This one ends with Tony Gwynn. So that's good. That's a good player there. As we all know, oh, there it is. There's 160s. So that's a good sign. So just a few more, couple more piles to go, or just one more pile, two more piles to go here and here. So the 90s and the 660. Oh, I guess card number 660 because there's not a whole pile for 660s. Um, yeah, so something in the 90s and then the card number 660, the last card in the set, which I don't know what that is, but I'm excited to find out. And you should be too. I'm not sure why, but you should be. There's 601, which is Jose Mesa. Oh, there it is. Card 660, Jerry Royster. Not that exciting, actually, that it's Jerry Royster, but it is card 660, giving us our second to last pile there. So mystery solved as far as who is card 660, the last in the set. Jerry Royster holds that dubious distinction. There's 599, Mark Thurman. Is it totally lame that like, I know this seems kind of boring and pointless, but it's super fun to me just to have an organized set like this. But I guess, you know, if I were the only one, then none of these hand collected sets would exist. So other people must enjoy it to some degree too. Although I don't know if you guys enjoy watching it or not, is the question. But just know that you are a part of something special. This could possibly happen. And you would have stuck it out to know. Or you could probably just fast forward to the end of this if you're not watching it live. And you'd know right away. But don't do it. Stay strong. And... Find out in real time with the rest of us. There's a rated rookie of Sean Abner. 
Well, I think all the rated rookies might be immediately after the Diamond Kings. I guess we're going to find out, but uh, not. don't quote me on that, but I thought I learned that somewhere. All right. Now I'm not going to go start looking through the piles to see if we're close yet until we get some cards in the, in the 90s here for that blank spot we have. I just don't feel like a, feel like it feels a little presumptuous to uh, start looking and say, oh, we have all the five tens yet or whatever until we at least got a pile for each one. But some of these are getting nice and stacked. It could be getting close if we don't have too many doubles. But uh, and really, just checking through the, the stacks will give us a clue as to how many doubles we have, which is my biggest concern. And what we'll do is as we collect all the uh, cards for each pile. We'll flip them over to have to be picture side up. And then we'll know and we'll see the board start to fill in as we get closer and closer. I'll actually be interested to see if we are able to complete a set, how many packs we have left. Like do we complete a set and still have three or four or a dozen packs that remain unopened. There's checklist 400. That's one we haven't seen before, so 400. Glad to see that. Tom Pagnazzi. We have Stan's face coming together right there. Come on, 90s. Where are my 90s? Oh, there it is. Card number 90, Ted Higuera. Breaks the seal for us. Thank you, Ted. You made my day. There's a Cal Daniels Diamond King, number 14. All right. Let's do... One more pack before we see if any of these piles, like 370s, are getting pretty high here to the point where it could have 10 cards in it. If that's the case, we can see how close we are or how many doubles we have. Four twenty, what what? Dwight Gooden gets number 69. Otto B. McDowell, I always like that name. Ought to be. It's not a name here very often. So I always took note. We should look him up sometime for our Whatever Happened to That Guy series. Todd Stottlemyre. I wonder why they, so even with the non-rated rookies, I wonder why they chose people with no major league record to put in here and why they chose them. 
one of these days I'm going to look up somebody who was making these decisions at these card companies. Maybe we'll do an interview or something. I'd love to talk to the people I've mentioned before, the people who chose the images for the cards. Some very curious choices for sure on some of these cards. There's 660 again, Jerry Royster. I guess I should make your pile of known doubles already. Because we don't really need the doubles. 638. Junior Ortiz. Oh, there's another BC card, BC 13, Wally Joyner. And one thirteen, so the so actually the one tens is one of those piles that we have a lot of a lot of them in. So let's see here. One thirteen. 17, 18, 112. Oh, there's 113 again, so that's a double. 116, there's a double, 117. 114, 115, and 110. So we got 110, 112, so we're missing 111. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So we're missing 111 and 119. So two more in that pile. And these doubles can go away. Might as well grab that second Jerry Royster. So definitely three doubles right here. We'll put those aside. And we'll move on to another pack real quick. So we know that we can be close with some of these. But we've got, we had three, we had two doubles in that stack. I guess that does not bode well for us. There's a Billy Hatcher Diamond King, number 23. And I haven't seen any more in this 90 pile. Definitely concerning. Four twenty two. five tens that pile is getting pretty high so maybe i'll check that one next just really looking forward to being able to flip that first pile over and say we got all of them Looks like these are coming together in pairs, essentially, for the puzzle. Didn't seem like we have a lot of puzzle duplicates yet. Devin White, number eight, Diamond King.
one sixteen. I think that's one we already had. Two forty nine. Okay, let's look. Take a look at the five tens. Got a nice big stack here. So five nineteen, five eighteen, five sixteen, five fifteen. So five sixteen, another double. Five eleven. Five fourteen. Let me get that one. Slide. Five fifteen, which we already have. So that's another double. Five twelve, which we needed. Five thirteen, we needed. Another five thirteen, yikes. And five fourteen, which yikes. So we have five eleven, five twelve. So we're missing five ten. Thirteen, five fourteen, five fifteen, five sixteen, five. So we're missing five seventeen. Five ten and five seventeen. So two missing from that pile. Another round of doubles we can move. Manny Trillo. Manny Trio, I should say. Another pack, this one starting with Big Cat Andres Galarraga on the front. Implicated in the PED scandal. As were a lot of those power head hitters of that time. Leon Durham, I remember him for the Cubs. Oh, there's another one up to the 90s, finally. Tim Burke. Well, look at this. Now, why would they take Mike Griffin and give him all these minor league years instead of just, every, like everybody else that they put, they would just put one major league. It's, it's like a mistake on their part or something. Interesting. Normally, Don Russ just shows major league experience. And if there's a back and forth, they would have a, an empty uh, row there. But for some reason, they chose to give a bunch of empty rows on that one. There's another in the 90s. All right, now we're getting somewhere with that 90s set. That's good. White again. I think we already, yep, we've already got him. So we'll already just put him in the doubles pile. We'll start. No sense in sorting out ones we know are doubles. I don't know. Is anyone else getting nervous yet? I'm a little worried that we're going to be off, meaning we're going to have. Most of the cards, but we're going to have some holdouts that are just not going to materialize for us. So I guess we'll have to wait and see, but we'll begin to get more skeptical as we go along. 282. All right, let's check out these 240s. A nice big tall pile of those. We've got a 49, 48, 48. So that's a double. 49, there's a double. Paul Molitor, double, 44, 45, 47, another 48, Fred Lynn, 46, so that's good. Forty two, forty-four. 44, so it's a double. So yeah, we're far off in this one. We're missing quite a few in that pile. We had too many doubles. Look at this, one, Two, three, four doubles. Oh boy. Still looking good. We got a lot of packs left to go. Tony Fernandez, Diamond King on the front of this one. Oh, 
I don't know what was the first card set to have true inserts in it. I mean, I guess these bonus cards would be close to inserts of the day, but inserts definitely made things a lot more fun because, you know, especially when you have a big box like this, when you get something that you don't see very often, it makes the whole experience more fun. So kudos to whoever thought of that. There's Andy Van Slyke. We haven't seen that one yet. The Diamond King. Oops. Wrong pile. But we do have a lot in the four tens. So maybe we'll check that one out next. Three oh nine. Could have swore we had three oh nine already, Darren Dalton. So maybe we didn't. Ah, we had four oh nine. Don't get it confused. Hate to throw one away that wasn't actually a double. And then have that be the one that we needed at the end. Oh, there's another BC. Wade Boggs, BC7. I wonder how big that BC set is. I imagine it's one for every team. I'm trying to think how many teams were in the league at this time. So maybe 32. Plugging away with our puzzle pieces. That 320s pile is getting pretty big, so maybe we'll check that one next. Or 460s, I suppose. And there's our Tony Fernandez. So let's look at this 460s pile since it's right close nearby. Come on, I'd love to turn one over. All right, we got. 466, 468, 460, 463, 460 again. Thanks, Jay Aldrich. 68, which is Huey Brooks. Oh, man. 469. 463 is another double. 464. That's a good one. 467. Need it. 468, we already have Hubie. And 465. So we need it. So we're missing 461, 462. But that's it. 461, 462. So we haven't quite been able to break that barrier of getting a full 10 yet. So there are four doubles in that. Oh, poor Jay. That's not a great picture, Jay. up and in case you forgot what we're trying to do here is I have a full box of cello packs jumbo cello packs from 1988 Donruss and I'm seeing if that box has a full complete set from that year inside of it or if we come up short and so far we are not there yet. Should 
Shane Raleigh. That's a Diamond King we haven't seen yet. Number 13. That's a good sign. See, this is what I was talking about before. So a couple minor leaguers, league seasons in there, and Dunruss just leaves them in there in the middle. But I'd never seen someone who had a bunch all at the very, very beginning. So maybe it was a computer algorithm, and he had some previous years, because Dunruss only showed five years of stats. Um, so maybe he had some previous years, and then had a stint in the of a numerous seasons in the minor leagues. And so they left him in there. I'd never seen that before, though, because I don't think I've looked at the back of all of these cards before. One of the ones I was really interested in. I feel like those 320s have got to be in a place now where we've got a full 10 of them. So after this one, we will check that out. One ninety nine of Gary Carter. There he is, smiling. Gary Carter. Nice picture of him there. Number one hundred one, Bob Witt. Oh, there's a BC-10, Andre Dawson, the Hawk. Two ninety one, Andy Van Slyke. And 548. All right, let's take a look at these 320s down here. We've got quite a few of those. See how many W's. So 25, 26, and another 26. Who is Barry Bonds? Barry. 25 again, which is a double for Jeff Dedman. 26, another Barry Bonds. Oh, Barry, you're killing me here. But on the plus side, we now have three Barry Bonds. So that's pretty good. Another 24, that's good. 28, needed it. Another 25, oh boy, 24, another 24, Rafael Palmeiro, 22, 23, another 23, Dave Magadan, and 24, another Palmeiro. Oh my goodness, so many doubles. I can't even, not even gonna count those up because we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven doubles. Yikes. I mean, nice that they're Barry Bonds, but oh my goodness. That doesn't bode well for us. So maybe if I change the positioning of my show pack there, it will help us have better luck. These cards have been shrink wrapped and sealed since 1988. A full 33 years, which is a long time. Losing a little bit of faith here on this, I think. The doubles are killing me. Oh, 500 checklist, 500. Uh, they did make the checklist every 100 cards. So it's good to get those. Tim Raines, Diamond King, number two. We had not seen that one yet. Good sign. Maybe trying to restore my faith back in the project. Thank you, baseball card gods, for that one. There is BC23, Mark McGuire. 
So I guess the question for me remains, if by the end we have the full set, but we don't have all of the bonus cards, the BC cards, those MVP cards, does that still meet the criteria that I was after? And I think it does. Because to me, again, that's a bonus set, not part of the regular 660 card set, which is what I did my calculation on. You off to bed? All right. All right. So just cruising right along here. I think after this pack, we will not stop and check because so far it's been a little demoralizing. So maybe go one more pack and then check again one of these piles. Although I just thought of something. We can definitely turn over the, the uh, Jerry Royster. Uh, there's Tommy John, which I think we already have, but put in there anyway. The Jerry Royster card, which is number, card number 660. We can go ahead and turn that over because it is the only card that will be in that pile. So that makes me happy. So we'll have one. We'll have one flipped over, which is something. And maybe that'll be the boost we need to get us on the right track. And Glenn Hubbard, number 22, Diamond King. It's a new one. We did not have that one yet. So another good, good sign there. All right, so we can take Jerry Royster, card number 660. We did have one double of so far. We're going to turn him over. That one is complete. <laughs> we just got to get all the rest of these. We are coming down to, oh man, I think we're about halfway. We're about halfway through our packs. So if we're halfway through, actually that's, that's a pretty good, pretty good sign then because a lot of these piles are pretty high. I wish we had something turned over though. That would be more comforting. But a lot of these piles are pretty high. So I feel like that puts us in good spirits. 500, 500 checklist, which I think we already had. Yvonne Calderon, I think that's a diamond king we did not have yet, number 25. Oh man, the two tens are very uh, sparse, and this is a double. So with the, the second one I was going to add in there is just double, so we'll take that out. Gary Pettis. Jack Clark, number 15, Diamond King. We did not have that one yet, so that's good, too. Oh, there was a Mark Grace rookie card there, the rated rookie. I like that one. Seen a few of those in my day. Got a few in my collection. More than a few, actually. Well, the fact remains that this is a lot of cards. So there's that. No question about it. A full cello box is a lot of cards. There's Dwight Gooden. We know we've seen that one. Number 69. So we'll put that aside as a double. I don't want to fool myself as these piles get bigger and think, oh, great, we're almost there. When in fact, we've had a lot of doubles. So where should we go next in terms of trying these out? Two, four, three, three, seven, seven, five, thirteen, six, thirty-five, and one sixty-five. 
let's see here. We jump into the 280s. See where we landed here. 287, 88. Oh, there's a double of Juan Samuel. 282, 81, 80, 82 is a double. Andres Galarraga, which we kind of knew. 89, 85, 86. So that leaves us with 80, 81, 82, 85. So we're missing 83 and 84. So 86, 87, 88, and so we're missing two. It seems to be we can't just we just can't crack that. There are only two doubles in there though, so that's a, again positive. We can't crack that barrier of being too short. Someone's got a Ruben Sierra on the front. Still two cards short every time. Feel like the heat's getting turned up. There's Benito Santiago, number three Diamond King, which we have not seen yet. I want to get some more in the 210 range here because we're pretty slim on those. Scott Fletcher, number 11 Diamond King. We haven't seen that one either. So we're filling out those Diamond Kings. Some more rated rookies, yeah. There is a 219, that'll, that'll do the trick. For that 210 pile that's severely lagging. Oh, BC2, Eric Davis. That's one we hadn't seen yet. I don't wanna jinx myself, but we haven't really seen any doubles in the BC range, which is good. There's card 600. 600 checklist, which I think we already have before, but there's Will Clark, number 21 Diamond King, another one we have not seen. Two fifty five, Willie Wilson, double. Oh, look at this. There's the Diamond King checklist, card number 27. We haven't seen that one yet. Funny that they didn't put the number on the back. Five sixty-eight. That's a Bill Wilkinson double. All right, let's try this six hundred. Let's try this five ninety pile, which I think is a little bigger. So five ninety-one, five ninety-two, ninety-seven, ninety-four, ninety-five, ninety-six. Another 92, which we already have, Curtis Wilkerson, Wilkinson, 99, another 97 of Neil Allen, 98, which we needed, and 90, so 90, 91, 92, 93, oh, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, so just one card shy there, 594. 93, 593, I should say. So again, progress. Progress. We're only one card shot there instead of two.
Oh, 63, that's a double. Tom Browning and the Diamond King checklist, also a double. You don't want to see that. And we got a few of these piles that are pretty deficient still. So hopefully we can get some more in those soon. But really, I'm sweating the fact that we don't have any completed piles yet. Now, maybe we do. There's Mark Langston, number 20, which we didn't have. Maybe we do have a complete pile that I just haven't looked into yet. But And if there's anybody commenting on this, I'm not really looking, so I'm sorry. But to be fair, I don't think anyone's commenting on it either because it's super late, at least where I am. And we're pretty far into this video. So I sincerely doubt that anyone is watching this ever. We gotta be close on our puzzle, I would think. Maybe that's something that can lift our spirits. One, six, two. Tommy John, we have already seen for sure. So that's neat. in the duplicate pile. One ninety nine is a double of Gary Carter for sure in the duplicate pile. Mark McGuire, we have definitely seen. So that goes in the duplicate pile. And three. Let's try up here. See if the 150s do anything good for us. So 159, 154, 55, 56, 57, 54. That's a duplicate. 57, that's a duplicate. 58, need it. 52 and 53, so 150 and 151 we're still missing. Still missing two there in the 150s, but two duplicates that have been removed. Wayne Tolison and Charlie Lee Brandt. All right, we are down to our last eight packs out of the 24. Yikes, this is really looking not so good, I think. But it's not over till it's over, as anybody who watches baseball would know. 422, that's Ron Kittle, he's out. Duplicate. Two of four is a duplicate with Will Clark. Here's the other thing. I guess when I once we open all the packs, once we start going through even the first pile, if the first pile doesn't have all the cards, then we'll know right away and we can just be done. Although I do kind of want to know how close we got, so I guess I'll have to see it through to the end, to the bitter end, and it will be very bitter, I imagine, if we don't have all of the cards in the set. 660 individual cards. It will be nice to know the duplicate rate to know if you have, a, you know, 800 and some cards that you're opening, how many of them tend to be duplicates. And I wonder if that would indicate that any of the ones that are missing were maybe short prints, Tony Fernandez, Pretty sure we had that one. I'm gonna put them in there though, because I don't want to mess it up. Oh, I just noticed something. So Jack Clark has been in Diamond King in two seasons of Donner's baseball cards. So they gave me a little badge at the bottom there. That's pretty cool. Learn something new every day.
And this video is sponsored by me because I buy all these cards myself and I uh, keep them. And so there you go. All the funding for this presentation was funded by me because this is my hobby. Although if you would like to sponsor something, I'm sure I would take your money and buy some baseball cards with it. So let me know. Maybe I could buy more. Enough for a full set of 1988 Donruss, which is everyone's dream. And of course, we all know that you can pretty much buy a full set of 1988 Donruss for about eight bucks. <laughs> so I don't think anybody's really dying for the world to have another full set of the 1988 Donruss brought into it. But like I said, it's not about having the set. There's Paul Molitor's Diamond King number seven, which we did not have, and now we do. So that's a good plus. All right. I feel like we should check after this round because one of these has got to be completed at this point. These stacks are getting pretty high. We put a lot of cards down. We only have six packs left after this. And it would just be pretty ridiculous if we couldn't even complete one set of 10. So I'm curious to know if any of you have ever done this or hand completed a set like this. Did you, do you do it in the same way that I do? Which is lay them out in stacks of 10? Or do you have a different method that's faster or better or easier? Please let me know in the comments if you do. And maybe if I do another one of these things, I'll follow your method instead. Because although I think this is a good way to do it, it might not be the best. There might be a faster way, and there might be a way that maybe will be more successful. I'm not giving up hope yet. There's Bob Welch, number 24. I don't think we had that one yet. So I can't tell if that's exciting or not, because it means that we're still discovering new cards here late into the game. I don't know if we did the 190s yet, but the 190 stack is really high. So I think we're going to do the 190 stack after this. So the 190 stack is right here. I got a good feeling about this. There are a lot of cards in here. 190, 194, 195, 199, 192, 193, 197, 192, which we already have, 193, 193, which we already have, 191 needed it. 193 we already have. 196 we didn't have. 197 we've got. 198 we need. 99 we've got. 191 we've got. 190 we've got. Oh, we didn't make it. 190. 191. 192, 193, 194, 196, 
190. Oh, wait, wait, 195, 196, 197, 198, 199. We did it. That is our first one. Dion James, Leon Durham, Jesse Roscoe, Alvin Davis, Gary Gaetti, Fred McGriff, Steve Lomb Lombardozzi, Rance Mullenix, Ray Quinones, and Gary Carter. First ones. All right. There is hope. Look at all these doubles. But there is hope. We just barely made it. Okay. So let's keep going. We now have six packages left. We are how many hours into this? An hour and 15 minutes, hour and 16 minutes in. I'm, I'm rejuvenated after turning over that one column. We're going to do this. It's going to happen. A lot of these piles are getting big, getting tall, full of all the cards we need to be successful in this endeavor. I just know it. There are a lot of skinny piles too. We won't talk about those. That's for another time. Six. Julio Franco. I don't know if we've seen him yet. Put him in the pile. 642. I'm moving faster now because I know, I know we're getting close. 428. Oops. 518. 382. 640. 170. Checklist 100, which I think we've seen. But I don't want to assume too much. 192, which we don't need because we have all the 190s. So that's a double. I was hoping we'd get to that point a lot faster where we would be able to see what we already had. But that is not how it's played out. All right, so where do we go? Let's go with the 590s. Down here at the bottom. Nice big pile here, 96, 97, 93, 94, 93 is a double, 98, 99, 98 is a double, 97 is a double, 96 is a double, yikes. 95, need it. 94, we got it. 92, need it. 91, 90. So 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99. That is a complete set. Rick Honeycutt, Pascal Perez, Kurt Wilkerson, Steve Howe, John Davis, Storm Davis. Oh, John Davis and Storm Davis right next to each other. Sammy Stewart, Neil Allen, Alejandro Pena, and Mark Thurman all together and we have their doubles right here which we can cast aside let's check another pile before we open another pack maybe we can really get this moving three so, so there's a double seven's a double eight four five eight's a double nine Eight's a double. How many eights are we going to get here? Four is a double. Three is a double. Yikes. Six. One. So not quite on that one. Got a ways to go. Too many doubles. Specifically, too many J Bells. Jay, what are you doing to me here? Or Bob Melvin. 
Too many Bob Melvins. All right, let's look down here. This nice big pile of 550s. Really big pile. Six, seven, eight, nine, three, four, fifty. Nine's a double. 551. 555. Four is a double. Fifty one, it's a double. Fifty two, need it. Fifty is a double. Fifty one is a double. Fifty eight, it's a double. Fifty seven, need it. Fifty six, got it. Fifty two, got it. So we have fifty, fifty one. 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, no, 257s, shoot, 58, 59, that's it. That's all of them. Mike Loind, Daryl Miller, Dave LaPointe, John Tudor, Rocky Childress, Wally Ritchie, Terry McGriff, Dave Leiper, Jeff Robinson, and Jose Uribe. That one is complete, including a bunch of doubles. All right, so we're good there. While we're on a roll, let's keep rolling. Let's go up to the 110s. A lot of those going on. 15, 14, 10, 11, 12, 19, 15 is a double, 16, we need it, 18, need it, 17, need it, 16, got it, 15, got it, 14, got it, 13, need it, 12, and 10, got it. All right, I think we are in good shape here. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. That's all of them. So we have Wally Joyner, Bob Forsh, Mike Scott, Kevin Gross, Benito Santiago, Bob Kipper, Mike Krukow, and Chris Boisio, Boisio, Sid Fernandez, and Jody Davis. That one is complete. We've got another stack on the board. All right, where to go next? How about the three eighties? Oh man, the two nineteenth, the two tens are looking really thin. Eighty two, eighty three, eighty four, eighty nine, eighty three, eighty four doubles, eighty six, eighty one. Here's a double, 80 is a double, 81 is a double, 88, 87. So we are missing 85, 385. So, so no go on that one yet. Let's open another pack. Maybe we'll get that 385. Keep your eyes peeled for 385 amongst a lot of other cards. But the, that Andres Galarraga, we know we already have. So let's get rid of that one. Oh, got that one. McGriff, Fred McGriff, we've already got. You know, whenever I see that Fred, Fred McGriff, especially in early Don Russ, I think about trading baseball cards on the bus to school growing up in just outside of Des Moines and Indianola, Iowa. And we would trade cards on the bus 
And there was one girl. Oh, there's Daryl Strawberry's BC20, which we did not have yet, so that's good. Um, there's one girl who would always trade with us. Amanda Six. Amanda Six. Uh, she had a 1986 Fred McGriff. I think it was 86. Fred McGriff rookie card. At the time, we always, always were trying to get from her in a trade, and she would never do it. Um, smart move by her, really. There's uh, Gary Gaetti that we already have. I think she uh, knew that that was her greatest power over us. And as soon as she traded that, it would all be over. So, rightfully so. She held on to it. I don't think anyone ever got it from her. So I wonder if she still has that card to this day. Amanda Six, if you are listening, please let me know if you still have that card and if you're willing to trade. Now, we all know that I don't think Fred McGriff is really, that card's not really worth anything anymore because none of these are, cards are really worth anything anymore. But just on principle, I definitely would trade you for that card. Oh, 29. It's definitely a double of Jeff Treadway. All right, five, oh, three, six, twenty-eight. Two ninety five forty seven. And 65. All right, so let's try the 540s. That looks like a nice big fat pile. Maybe we can turn those over. Seven, five, six, zero, six is a double. Oops. Six is a double. Seven is a double. Two, three, there's gotta be a better way to do this part. If I had more table space, I'd do it flat, but I do not. Three is a double. Four, five is a double. One. I think two I already have. Yep, two I've already got. One I've already got. Five and four I've already got. That's not looking very good. Nope, definitely not. Definitely don't have the numbers there. Too many doubles. Too many doubles. All right, let's go on. This has a Cal Ripken Jr. Diamond King right on the front there. So we are down to our last four packs. We have a lot of cards to make up here. I don't think we've seen that Cal Ripken Diamond King yet. So maybe this means this is a pack we haven't seen. There's Andre Dawson. Definitely needs some 260, so that's good. Well, one way or another, this is going to come to an end. So know that this is not a cliffhanger. This will definitely end and hopefully it will end with a set, but it will end regardless. It might end with us saying, no, you are not guaranteed or even maybe very likely to complete a set of 660 1988 Donruss cards with a cello box. But there's still possibility. We still might make it. Is anyone willing to bet? One way or the other. I think if I were a betting man right now, which I'm not, I would put my money on it not being complete. 
but being fairly close. I th but I think we would be about 15 cards short, which I guess depends on how you look at it, whether or not that's close or not. But I'm going to say 15 cards short. There is Yvonne Calderon, BC5, which I don't think we had. Again, we're not counting the BC cards because those are bonus cards, not a part of the original 660 card set. I think we will complete the Stan Musial puzzle, which I guess is good. That's a double. We definitely are going to be short of like the two tens. I only got a couple cards in there. So that's really not a good sign. Let's just power through, open these last three packs, and then we're just going to know once and for all what the deal is. So no more pausing to check piles. There's Glenn Davis, BC25. A new one. Taylor Griff, we already have. Julio Franco, we already have. BC1, Cal Ripken MVP, which we have not seen yet. We got to be getting close on these BC cards, I would think, because we're got a nice big pile there. Although there's a double, um, although we don't. It is going to be a thirty some cards, and I don't think we have a pile of thirty some. Billy Hatcher, number twenty three, Diamond King, which I don't think we've seen. Six fifty nine, which is the second to last card in the set, which I don't think we've seen before. Wally Ritchie, which is a double. It's going to be pretty crushing, though, if it's Will Clark Diamond King. I think we already had that one. Pretty crushing, though, if we uh, go to start to look at all these starting at the beginning and the very first pile, the one through 10, the one through nine, we don't have all of them. And we'll be like, well, that's the end of that. That answers that question. But now we've got this running question. There's another double running question of how many cards short will we be? Another double. You got to stop getting these doubles. It's not helping our cause. Oh, there's another 210. That's good because 210 is really, really light. I mean, I can tell you right away if we stop now, we would be too light on the 210s. Oh, there's another double. We light on the 210s, and that would be enough to say that we did not complete the set. Two packs to go, just two packs remaining. Thanks for sticking with me here, if anybody did. I can't promise that we'll make it to 
a full set, but I can promise we'll make it to the end if you want to join me on this journey. I'm not going to quit partway through, although I, I admit I may have wanted to at some point during this endeavor. Just stop and say, all right, forget it. I'm going to bed. But we've come so far. Up oh, 300. I don't think we've seen checklist 300 yet. So that's a good sign. That even in these waning packs, we can still find some new cards. Actually, we haven't had a lot we've turned away because we've uh, turned the cards over yet. So uh, let's see here. BC22, Ozzy Smith, a new one we have not seen yet. So I don't think we've had any doubles in the BC world so far. Four, 17, 55. I think we've got some doubles in the Stan Musial puzzle, though. 162. So here's what we're going to do. This is the second to last pack we're working through here, the double John Tudor. And we are going to start going through. piles to see how many still remain and in that last pack we can be looking for more specific cards and cheer them on when they show up because we could just be that close 263 although like i said that 210 pile is so small that i think we're way off on that one and the 90s pile too so let's just start off with this seven Three, two, eight, one, five, six, eight. We are all right, so we're missing one, two, three. We're missing four. Five, six, seven, eight. We're missing four and nine. <laughs> all right, well, this is our last pack. If there's not a four and a nine, at least in here, and then the rest of them are two tens, I think the answer is that you do not get a full set. And I know I told you I wouldn't be surprised or disappointed, but I kind of am because that seems crazy to me that you wouldn't get a full set out of this. There would be that many doubles. Five ninety nine. Got all those. One sixteen. Got all those. Card gods, you are not. And look, Bobby Thigpen, two of them right in a row. Oh, he's like you're mocking me. Get rid of that Bobby Thigpen. It does feel a little bit like the card gods are mocking me with this whole endeavor. But mock on, mock on. Tommy John, we've gotten. Gary Carter, we've gotten quite a few of. Alejandro Pena, we know we've got. Yeah, so this is wonderful doubles, really. Bob Kipper, we know we've got. Mark McGuire, we know we've got. Mike Lego, we know we've got. Another double. Five, 15. BC 24, Will Clark. I actually think we already had this one. So that might be our first BC double. 
64, 66. Last puzzle pieces. Another Mark McGuire doubles in the same pack. Oh my goodness. Again, mocking, mocking, mocking away. 639. 191, which we got. Leon Durham. Six four sixty one five ninety five, which we've got because that's Martin, that's Storm Davis, and finally one fourteen Benito Santiago, which we know is a double. So definitive, we do not have a full set in that box. We're missing at least two cards in the first ten. Let's see how many we're missing in the rest. Is any so let me know if you're surprised by this uh, outcome or not. 10, 11, 12, 15, 17, 13, double, 18, 14, 15, 17 is a double, and 16. So actually. We don't have all these either. So 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. We're missing 19. So we've got Julio, Franco, Scott Fletcher, Tony Fernandez, Shane Rowley, Cal Daniels, Jack Clark, Dwight Evans, and Tommy John and Andy Van Slyke. So we're missing one there. Moving along. Six, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, twenty-four, twenty, twenty-seven. 28, 29, 24, 20, 27 is this Diamond King checklist. So who are we missing? We're missing 19, which is Gary Gaetti got Diamond King. We were missing that one. 21 is a double. So we have 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. So we have all the 20s. All the 20s. There you can see them there. Cal Ripken, Jeffus, Mackie Sasser, and Jeff Treadway. All right. So that's our first full pile. Well, first of all, it took us... Uh, an hour and 40 minutes plus to to get through opening all the packs and sorting and organizing them. So a data point for you there. Double. Thirty-two. Three to double. One is a double. Thirty-four. Thirty-one. Thirty-five. Oh my goodness. So we've got thirty. Thirty-one. Thirty-two. Thirty-three. Thirty-four. Thirty-five. Thirty-six. We're missing thirty-seven and thirty-nine. Which we do not have, do not exist. That's disappointing, but we're so far off there. A bunch of doubles here. Yeah, 
I gotta tell you, if we get through the first hundred and half of them are not complete, then I'm not gonna go through the rest of the cards because it just doesn't seem worth it because it just means we're so far off, it's not even close. Um, it's kind of where I'm at right now. Oops. So 40, 41, 45, we've got. Two need forty two. We got one forty eight forty nine. So this again, this is not complete. So we have forty, forty one, forty two, forty three, forty four, forty five, forty six, forty eight, and forty nine. So forty seven we're missing there. Missing doubles. I got, I got to tell you, so actually this is a surprising outcome to me. I thought we'd be much closer than this. I think we're going to blow away that 15-card estimate that I had, and we're going to be way, way off. Um, but again, I don't even know that we'll get there because I'm not going to go through every pile if half of these aren't even turned over by the time we get to 100. So just doesn't see me. The point would be proven by then that uh, we're just way off. Foiled by doubles is what the headline of this should be. Foiled by doubles. Yep, lots of lots and lots of doubles. So I wonder if there's any rhyme or reason to which ones were missed. Like in this one, we've got 50, 51, 54. So we're missing 52 and 53. Yeah, we're missing 52 and 53. Um, looks like there's just like two missing per series, you know. All right, so actually I'm gonna go ahead and call it folks. This just is, this is busted as far as I'm concerned. Very, very busted. So. I hope you got something out of this, but the answer is no. You are not guaranteed a set. And actually, I'd say you're highly unlikely to get a set uh, out of a cello box. Um, based on what we're seeing here, you probably need double these cards to get a set. So maybe it means that those hand collected sets actually should be a little more valuable because um, you'd have to buy a lot of packs, um, I guess, or trade or buy singles. So in any case, I hope you enjoyed some of this. Um, and the answer is no, no set in the box. So until next time, we'll see you then. Bye.